Blizzard actually fixed it. The developers give us a ton of inside information and detailed feedback. There's only 80 hours left. We also quickly got to go over the Twitch supporter streamer updates, as well as other several major updates that we have to talk about before the launch. We got a lot to talk about. What's up, world streamer? Back in the video, and today we're checking out all things Diablo 4. Okay, so let's talk about the fact that there's only 80 hours left until early access begins. Or depending on when you watch this video, it probably will be a little bit less. Seemingly, there's only 32 hours left till preload and 25 hours till the embargo lift. Everything is so close to happening. Diablo 4 is right around the corner. Well, as those early, early access review embargoes, and we even have that preload coming up on May 30th. We do also have to briefly talk about the supporter streamer stuff because there is a little bit of a controversy there, and I do want to address that from my last video and a few updates. So essentially, Blizzard released the verified list of streamers to that Twitch drop page, and there was about 130 pages, I think, or a little bit more. But what ended up happening is that 30 or so pages of streamers ended up getting removed. Now, again, combining the tweets that I had in the last video from that Twitch 300 cap tweet, or Twitch's limit being 300 people to be selected, and then the random removal process that Adam Fletcher talked about, my theory is maybe they selected everybody they could have, or everybody that streamed Diablo, either Diablo 2 or Resurrection, or Diablo Immortal, or whatever it is, even the server slam beta, within the last six months got selected. And my best guess is they submitted this list to Twitch, Twitch said we have a 300 cap limit so you're gonna have to remove so many, and then seemingly they had to rem randomly remove some or remove certain pages. Now a lot of those streamers that were on the first list and not on the second one are clearly kind of upset about that. Some of them were telling their audiences that hey I'm on this list. I know even I had a commenter ask but to be honest I don't really Twitch stream. Also I never really got my affiliate on Twitch. Every time I streamed it was just kind of like for a short period of time and then I never continued. So I would have to earn my affiliate even before then. However if I was selected on that list I would definitely stream to you guys because that would give me a chance to give back to you for you guys giving back to me sort of like a kind of exchange thing there however I did not expect to be on this list so just to update for people because I had like several comments asking me like hey I didn't find you on the list like no it was never meant to be but seemingly the ones that were on the list previously that are no longer on the list obviously are kind of upset about that now the good thing is here we did have Adam Fletcher try to reach out to several of his youtubers and Twitch streamers, and even like this tweet here from a person named Slyhafenia. They said, after reading your tweet, I checked the list again, and yeah, I couldn't find myself on the list, but I'm pretty sure that I was on the first one. I took screenshots and downloaded the first list as a PDF. I hope I can get listed again. Adam Fletcher here did tweet back and said we will get you sorted, but they did post again here saying, can't wait to download Diablo 4 tomorrow, but I'm still waiting for a positive update about this topic. So it might still be an issue with getting people back on that list. I guess we'll have to wait and see with the supporter streamer stuff. It does does kind of suck that certain people didn't make the list because of Twitch's cap limit and the fact that Blizzard already released the list and then they had to remove people off that is really a big bummer but I definitely hear those streamers concerns and people that were on the list especially because of the significance of that on the launch day and how many subs that are going to be transferring back and forth from people but yeah I definitely hear the complaints there and it's definitely understandable but we do have that massive fix here and update from Blizzard who's finally stepping up to the plate and receiving that feedback and actually acting upon it where now they have that streamers and reviewers who were given that early early access copy they can no longer earn the hardcore reward so they won't be able to do that hardcore challenge for level 100 or the first thousand people to hit level 100 getting their name on that lila statue that will no longer be the case so now those people that received those early copies and did get a significant advantage will no longer be able to earn it and several others like maxwell were already kind of denying that they would accept the reward so yeah, i think this is a good decision by blizzard although i do wish they would push it to season one because i'm not going to be playing hardcore until season one probably since i have to do a bunch of content for youtube and it's just a lot of risk there although i would love to do hardcore and i would love to participate in the hardcore challenge again i know this is a super controversial topic but we do have people wanting to have wasd added we have a tweeter from marzipaz that says hey rod do you know if there will be wasd support for pc on launch will be mega helpful accessibility option rod tweeted back saying this is not but we are very well of the feedback in the meantime i hope you can give controller support a shot again there is a little bit of a disconnect here if you're playing on pc mouse and keyboard you're not going to want to use a controller at least in my opinion like me going back to a controller is just not what i want to do unless the game that i'm playing kind of requires it or at least it plays better with a controller you know like certain racing games and things of that aspect or even games like for honor where controller is actually pretty beneficial and a lot easier to play on 
but a game like this you're definitely going to want to play on mouse and keyboard because we talked about in my last video how it gives you a lot more pinpoint accuracy with your mouse whereas controller you can only hold left and right and you can't really designate things like teleport and other abilities that allow you to essentially either transport your character or movement abilities i mean for some people maybe they might go to controller but it's just odd if you're playing a mouse and keyboard you want to play a mouse and keyboard you don't want to play on a controller the reason why you go to pc is to typically either play at higher graphic fidelity or to play with a mouse and keyboard for more pinpoint accuracy and more manual movements so yeah i just don't understand this take i don't get it to keep pushing the controller support like i told you guys everything in this game and everything in the accessibility options is geared toward controller players and that's not a problem it's just that Blizzard games have been primarily for PC players, so why are they just catering toward console so heavily for this game? And it wouldn't be a big issue as long as there was actual PC accessibility options. However, majority of them, around 90% of them, are console accessibility options, and we don't have the WASD. And like other people have mentioned, I get that WASD has never been in any, any Diablo game before. It's never been something that should be there. However, this is an always online game, and there is a mass amount of server latency with your cursor movement and it detecting an enemy. I just think that WASD could fix a lot of the movement and latency issues overall, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now here's a good question here. Someone asked, hey, I played the beta, and beat a Shava on Xbox, but I have bought the PC version pre-order. Will I get Cry of a Shava trophy on PlayStation? And Adam Fletcher tweeted here, yep. So it doesn't matter what platform you're on, as long as you have your Battle.net connected to everything, which it probably should be anyways, you're going to get that trophy on every single platform that you buy the game on, or at least whatever platform you decide to buy it on, and if you beat it on another one. And we had another tweet here from Knight Zero. Who said, in Diablo 4, will non-seasonal characters be getting new content, or is it just the new seasons we will have to play, the experience of the new stuff like gear, battle passes, in-game events, etc. He said, the Eternal Realm and the Seasonal Realm will be getting the same new legendary powers and unique items with each new season roll. Moderate Hex asked an additional question here, saying, and new additions such as mechanics, if they're kept in the game, will those find their way to Eternal Realms as well? Joe Pipora replied, it's possible, but as I've said before, we're reluctant to add layers of mechanically complexity to the core game over a prolonged period. It's more likely that the seasonal mechanics might inform future features we'd add to the evergreen game rather than adding them directly. And just in case people don't know, the difference between the Eternal Realm and the Seasonal Realm is that at the end of the season, your character will be transported to the Eternal Realm where you can keep continuing to play that character or if you want to play with everybody in the new season, then you're going to have to play on that new Seasonal Realm. However, seemingly here, everything that's new and all the new stuff is going to be put on the Eternal Realm as well. So even if you don't want to have to redo your character from level zero or from level one i guess then you could just play on that internal realm and still get all of the benefits now another tweet here at joe pipora from robin rain who asked will titles earned in hardcore be character or account wide and carry over to normal so we can show off our hardcore achievements for when we start doing hardcore playthroughs and joe did say that the titles are account wide so you will be able to use that on any character that you please we have another tweet here about these seasonal and eternal realms from white van vr who says will the seasonal gimmick perpetuate on the eternal realm like poe or only the last season and joe responded saying that the season theme and mechanic will be retired at the end of each season so both the eternal realm and the seasonal realm will seemingly be on the same sort of theme and mechanics we also got an update on that kfc promo seemingly the kfc promotion is starting today so if you want to get those in-game cosmetics you can go ahead and purchase the kfc items to earn those cosmetics but you will not be able to collect them until the 30th and i will say for right now that the kfc diablo page is 404 erroring so it might be a little bit later start of the day for this i'll have the link down below so you can keep an eye on when that kfc promotion is going live but yeah i would keep checking it to see if it's not 404 erroring anymore and hopefully it'll be up sometime soon but that does about cover for today's video if you enjoyed it, like a like and subscribe and until the next one deuces